I'll never forget this. I was sitting at Thanksgiving dinner, and it was like me. If I remember the Where table is set up, this house? is at her parents' house. Right. So it's okay. me, her mom, or her dad, her stepdad, her mom, and then I'm pretty sure it was like him and her, or him and her, but it was like I wasn't beside her, right? Mm. So I do remember that. And I was sitting there and I'm like, what the fuck? Like this, this there's something going on here. I could feel the energy. And I was like, I'm being totally fucked over here. Like I'm actually having it rubbed in my face though. Like there hasn't been transparency yeah. mm. and I'm sitting at fucking dinner. What am I doing here? And you know, like I, I was so hurt, you know, like this deep, deep, deep hurt. And I was watching what was unfolding and I was like, holy shit, like, this is fucking bullshit. The memory for me is blurry because I remember crying. And I just remember being like, are you guys together? Like, I can't believe this is happening. And I left. Now that I've sort of done the work on that, all of that, there's always um, pain there because for me the pain was, which, you know, is a process, but I can just feel so much the old young me yeah. of like, I really just left in there. Like the guy who really wanted to love all out, who really cared about relationships with women and uh, respect, God. Yeah. I left him there. And the story in my head that I figured out years later as a villain, this wasn't a brilliant move then, was when I left people love me, they just joined me. Yeah. And so I never let anyone pass that point mm. until I was talking to Kelly Marceau, who's a really brilliant relationship writer. She has a lot about men. And I'm talking to her and she looked at me and she said, have you actually ever let anyone love you? And I was like, the fuck is this chick? Yeah. Like, and then I was like, oh no, I haven't. 